in the middle of September, the first locomotive, which is we now know as locomotion, it had no name then, th there was a nickname for it, the nickname was Active, and they moved it by road to the railway side at Hyington, as it now is, where the Hyington station now is, and they placed it on the track there. And there's a lovely story which I have unearthed uh, just, just recently. There were three youngsters, about 12, 13 years old, who'd heard whispers on the grapevine that the, this first steam locomotive was coming and was going to be put on the track there. Well, I mean, this is like the moon rocket at that time, so this was so exciting. So the young lads watched it being on, uh, offloaded from the uh, horse-drawn cart from Newcastle. And then the, the man who was supervising it was James Stevenson, that's George Stevenson's elder brother. And he said to the lads, lads, there's a farmhouse over there, go and borrow some buckets. There's a spring there. I want as much of the spring water put into the boiler and as quickly as possible. So the lads ran off, they got the buckets, they got the spring water, filled up the boiler, and, uh, and then of course they had to light the fire. I haven't got any matches those, those days, so how do you light it? Well, uh, they did it famously. I mean, this is in all the, all the, all the history books. Uh, they did it by the power of the sun. In other words, they used a, a kind of magnifying glass effect. They lit the, lit the fire, and the fire started, and then they, they got steam up to move it along the track to, back to Shildon. Of course, the three lads wanted a ride, and they did. And they were the world's first passengers on the public railway. And the, the third of the lads, this is how I know it, uh, he died in the 1890s, but it was recorded in the newspapers of the day that he died and he had been one of those uh, three lads all those years ago. So that was a, a nice, nice story.